Let's bring in the political panel. Joins me now, Patrice Lee on WUCA with the Independent Women's Forum and Eric Schiffer, Washington Times contributor. Good to see you both. Same here. Patrice, San you, Francisco, though. the shooting, that's where it took place. It's a sanctuary city. You can see this case started the national debate over sanctuary cities. Is this verdict a just one? Uh, it, it, based on the what the jurors had to consider, the charges that were lobbed against him, um, and the, you know that may have been, it may seem like it was just, but to most Americans, it is unjust that a young woman was shot and killed by someone who should not have been in this country legally. And you know we need to really reassess and ensure that Congress is considering what to do about our immigration uh, policies in general to ensure that people who want to come here do so through the legal means uh, and abide by our, our laws. We are a nation of, of immigrants, but we're also a nation of laws. President Trump called the verdict disgraceful. He cited the Steinle case, an example of why, Eric, there should be immigration reform. The lead defense attorney in the Steinle case had this message, though, for the president. Roll tape. For those who might criticize this verdict, there are a number of people that have commented on this case in the last couple of years. The Attorney General of the United States, the President and Vice President of the United States, let me just remind them that they are themselves under investigation uh, by a special prosecutor in Washington, D.C., and they may themselves soon avail themselves of the presumption of innocence and the beyond a reasonable doubt standard. And so I would ask them to reflect on that before they comment or disparage the result in this case. Eric, doesn't this show, isn't this evidence, or could it be argued that this is evidence, this was a highly politicized case? Yeah, I mean, that's such a cheap shot. I mean, this is a, a clearly political shot. And why isn't he arguing the facts? Uh, to me, uh, this should have been, at minimum, an involuntary manslaughter case. Uh, it, it is sad that we are at a uh, situation where, here in California, you've got these cities that allow this. It is craziness. It, it is upsetting to think about family members, people we love, uh, viewers that are watching that could be victims of, of a illegal immigrant that gets into this country and could kill us. It's just nuts. And something should be done. Congress needs to act. We need to do more. It is a disgrace. The president is right. And frankly, I would hope, I would hope that rational minds come together and come up with a system that can keep these people out of this country. All, we're all for legal immigration, for people that uh, have earned the right, that are doing it the right way, but not sneaking in and they're getting protected by the law when you've killed people. We got to keep people safe here in this country, and this needs to end. And that's, you know, Eric just made an, a really important point, Patrice, and that is the Democrats and the liberal left and the people in San Francisco who support this verdict, they are saying that the Republicans are against legal immigration. They're not. They're against illegal criminals coming in here and killing people and causing harm and injury to families who are here legally and paying taxes. What's next? What's next with the border wall? Because now the, the president is saying this is the reason why we should have a border wall. Go ahead, Patrice. Yeah, I mean, I think that's it's logical for us to expect that we should be protecting our borders and ensuring that you know enough money is being sent to um, to to support efforts to make sure that people are coming in here who should be here and should be here legally. It, it's just amazing though how Democrats are lumping legal and illegal immigrants together. I am an illegal immigrant, and I many of my family members we we recognize that you know what um, we 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 went through the process, the correct process. We waited in line and we came to this country, and we are law-abiding citizens, and we expect that of everyone else. But when we're lumped together as all immigrants, then, then all of a sudden it, it cheapens what we've, the, the sacrifices that we've made, and it makes it seem like, you know, it, it's okay to, to turn a blind eye to the wrongdoing of those who are here illegally. Patrice and Eric, terrific analysis. Thanks so much. You're coming back after the break. You're going to be with us.